Mr. Kate's come over to help me decorate my bed. Oh my god, we could use this as a den! Why are you so Oh my god! Babes. Hey! Good morning, Jake Parlors! Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my vlog channel. Um, I look like shit. I need to shower up. I've not showered all weekend. I'm gonna be honest. I literally haven't showered all weekend. But yeah, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all having fun in this lockdown. We get an announcement today, actually. We get an announcement tonight at four o'clock. Is it four o'clock? I think it's four o'clock. And I feel like we're gonna get a little roadmap, a little moment, which will be really, really exciting. I just want some sort of change. I've been really going through it. In fact, I'm gonna talk about this on my vlog. I weren't really gonna mention it. I weren't really gonna say it anywhere. However, I feel like, I don't know why people on YouTubers and people on online or just anyone like this is such a taboo online and like admitting that you get upset and offended by hate and stuff is just such a like taboo thing people are always like no pretend it don't get to you like da -da -da, don't show them that it hurts it is so shit and i feel like i've been in a row i've i've hardly been uploading on youtube for one but when i have been uploading on youtube i feel like i've been forcing myself to upload because i don't want to let people down and obviously I, this is what i love doing and you will have seen in Haz's video i briefly spoke about it briefly joked about it i have literally not left my bedroom like anna and Haz will be in the kitchen and I literally just be in my bedroom like all the time and it's like I said to Anna I don't know why but I feel like I can't face anyone like I would literally go into the kitchen and be sat at the table while they were eating food and I felt myself like I was gonna cry like I couldn't look anyone in the face I was like I just can't be around people right now and I don't know what it is obviously this lockdown doesn't help as well but I feel like I got so stuck in like a I would look on the gossip websites and i know it's fucking offline if you're watching this and you write on one of those gossip websites i i don't even know what to say to you like i'm not angry at you i'm not like whatever like do whatever you want to do i don't want to offend you by saying fuck off blah blah like you've got no life all this stuff whatever if you do write on these gossip websites i just want you to realize that what you're writing has an impact and i don't know if the aim of these people writing on these websites or writing nasty comments is to get people to see it like people writing shit about me do you want me to read it like what what is the aim of you writing in it or do you feel like you're part of a community that is built on slagging me and my friends i don't know what it is but i will admit to i do read it and i have fallen foul in reading it a lot but people are just not even nasty it's like not even nasty stuff like i don't get offended by what people are saying i feel like i know myself well enough to not be offended by people saying oh he looks like this or "Ooh, look at this photo or "Ooh, this this and this but i feel like when people pick apart your character and pick apart who you are as a person it really fucking like it doesn't upset me or offend me but like it stays with me a lot and like people always question my friendship with Anna, question my friendship with Haz, question like the intentions between our friendship and stuff like that, how we talk to each other, like a lot of people have this impression that me and Haz are so nasty to Anna and that like, we're not really friends with her for any other reason other than the fact that we want her freebies and stuff like that and I read all this stuff and even though I know it's not true, it then makes me question every single thing that comes out of my mouth. I don't know how to explain it because I feel so dumb and I feel like I don't need to explain myself but when you get torn apart so much as a person like for tiny little things like Haz's video that went up the other day everyone were commenting saying Berenstein's so quiet and most of the comments which thank you so much were concerning comments being like Berenstein's quiet he seems sad is there something wrong with him and I will admit I have been really distant from myself and like really I've not really been sad but I've just sort of been in like a really weird rut in my head and I've just literally yeah it's not been not being the nicest, I can't lie. Like I said it before, my mood will go from like up here to like literally down here within the space of seconds. And I just put it down to the lockdown, but I think it's because I've internally been ripping myself apart because I'm seeing people rip me apart online. And as much as I can tell myself, oh, it's not true. Like that's not who you are, like blah, blah. It really does get you questioning. Like Anna's literally said it so many times. She keeps saying to me, Barry, you blush your personality. Why do you not banter me back anymore? And I sat and thought about it the other day. I was like, why do I not banter back? And I think it's because I've read so many things saying, Byron bullies Anna, Byron's so horrible to Anna, Byron this, Byron that, that I sat there and was like, oh my god, am I actually being nasty? Like, am I actually the person that these people are saying I am? I get people can get an impression from someone from the videos and stuff, and you're entitled to your opinion, and entitled to whatever the hell you want to think, and I'm not trying to make everyone like me, I don't aspire to say this in a vlog, and then everyone that writes on those gossip sites be like, oh, actually I feel sorry for him, because I don't want that, because if you don't like me, you don't like me, like, it is what it is, but at the same time, it's like, you don't know me. 
and like we've never met half the time I read it and it's not true like people went on a massive spiel about the fact that Mian has put food in Anna's freezer and like we're saying that Anna's such a mug Mian has just used it for our freezer space and all stuff like this and I think like, it sounds so fucking dumb and obviously I didn't get in a rut about that like I literally read it and I'm like are you actually fucking kidding if Anna needed to put something in, a, in my fucking bedroom she could but people were ripping into me and has for it and it's only tiny little things like that but it's irritating and I feel like there's this thing online where you can't you've got to pretend like you don't care about what people are saying and you're not irritated or offended or anything by it but I am I really am and it's honestly getting me like getting me down and it's making me question myself as a person and every single thing I do I hate it like I absolutely hate it, it puts me off wanting to post online, which is so shit and so annoying. And I hate that I'm admitting to it online because I feel like it's giving people an ego boost and thinking what they're doing is working. But in all seriousness, I really, for the past few months, I've just fucking hated the thought of saying or doing anything online because I feel like everyone just fucking goes wild with it. But then I also think, who the fuck cares? Like, why do you care? And they said they don't care, but like, why do you care about what me and has to put in Anna's freezer? Like, it's so fucking dumb, but it just makes me question things. And then it makes me think, well, does Anna think this if, I, if these people are thinking it does Anna also think it and just has to think it and then it's like well it's just fucking shit it's shit and it's made me feel like shit <laughs> I'm not putting it in my video for sympathy or anything but I think people really need to understand that what they're saying really affects people I can't seem to shake it whenever I read something it makes me go inside myself and I just sit in silence and I just think about everything I'm doing and saying and being and I think, oh my god, like, what the fuck, like, this is too much. And I just can't shake it for days. So fuck you for writing stuff on stupid websites and commenting stupid shit and messaging me stupid shit. I need to tidy my room, I need to tidy my life, I need to get my shit sorted. I decided this week, you know what, I'm not gonna put any pressure on myself to do anything. I'm not gonna read any of these fucking stupid websites or stupid comments or messages from people. And I'm just gonna live my life, sort of, not social media free, but I'm gonna live my life and just go with the flow. Ride the wave, boy, ride the wave. And I'm just gonna do whatever the hell I want and just pick myself up. It's a good week, we're getting an announcement today. But yeah, phone drum. Oh my God, my desk chair's coming tomorrow as well. I'm on a weekly vlog. My desk chair is actually arriving tomorrow and I don't know where the fuck I'm gonna put it because obviously it won't fit there anymore. Um, so yeah. I hope you're all right, by the way. I feel like I've just sat and rambled for a while about myself and how I feel, but I hope everyone else is feeling all right and is coping well. And if you're not, then same. I hope you're all well. I feel like I've missed you all. I've got a lot to do today. Oh my God, all my files have failed to download. Ah! <laughs> Mr. Kate's come over to help me decorate my bed. Hello, everyone. I know, you're not gonna be able to shape that to look any nicer than it yeah, does. we're just trying to, you know, vision it. In here, look. It looks nice in there. Like the colors like look- Well, no, but the color looks nicer is what I'm saying. <laughs> this is the issue like, we currently- mm. It looks like we're making it look It looks very- <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Sorry that you can afford to buy a new bed and I can't. <laughs> That's such bullshit. <laughs> good morning everyone. I actually say good morning, full well knowing that it's the afternoon. However, I have literally just finished editing up a video and then got myself dressed. I don't know why I'm just filming my bed. Uh, I literally just got myself dressed and I had a little delivery to collect from downstairs. So I just wanted to show you quickly. This is the update on my bed. I did the backboard, which I really, really like. As you can see, like, I did it all down to the corners, like all around here. I need to sort that one out because as you can see, it's ruffled a bit. This one is a little bit better. But I need to do this side of the bed. Obviously, it's not like, it's actually just not stuck on at all. I've not done that yet. I literally just tucked it around for the time being because it got really late and I just wanted to go to bed so I need to do the like side pieces and then the bottom of the bed I've got all this material left so fingers crossed I actually do have enough to actually do that side and that side as well as the front but this is what it's currently looking like I really really like it I think once it's all neat and tidy and obviously my bed's made I literally have been sat in my bed all day editing once it's all sorted and stuff I think it's gonna look really really nice I'm really impressed it's also so soft I thought I were gonna sit up against my headboard and it were all just gonna peel off however I sat up against my headboard this morning and it went absolutely fine and dandy side that's amazing but yeah good morning everyone welcome back to the second half of this vlog i had a really exciting delivery i know i mentioned it yesterday the guy again a really exciting delivery sent today and it's actually arrived um my desk chair from maid has finally arrived it literally took forever to come in fact i'm gonna drag this into my room and then i'll actually talk to you about my chair and what i'm gonna do with it okay it's quite big oh 
Just a little backstory. I rearranged my room a little while ago and I ordered a desk, which you are currently sitting on right now. As you can see, it's at the bottom of my bed. Uh, it used to be over here where my little shoe storage is. However, I rearranged my room literally last week because they were getting really bored of waiting for the desk chair to arrive. I got a shipment notice saying, obviously because of COVID, all the materials and stuff, they were gonna take like 15 weeks to arrive when I ordered it. And then I got another one a couple weeks back saying it were actually delayed until March. So I was like, right, I'm not, there's no point having my desk there. I never sit up to it to do my work at it because there's no desk chair. It gives me crippling back pain using the chair from in the kitchen because the height's just not right. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna put my desk at the bottom of my bed and I've been using it as literally like, I have my laptop on here all the time. I literally just lay in bed, have a movie on my laptop and I just use it as like a little movie station. And then I got a message yesterday saying my desk chair were actually arriving today. So here it is in this massive box and now I don't know where to put it because I kind of like this just being at the bottom of my bed and like, I sit up to it sometimes and do my work from my bed and it's really really nice however I don't want to put my desk back there because I like my shoe storage there but like, I like how my room's laid out now very much like, I really really like it and now I've got a massive desk chair that I don't really know where to put it's not really a desk chair so I feel like I could get away with not putting it on my desk but then it's like where else the fuck do I put it in my room I'll show you what it looks like when I actually get it out I'm scared I'm not gonna like it I'm I'm scared, I'm not gonna like it, but we'll see. Fingers crossed. My fingers are crossed and I'm feeling hopeful. <laughs> Since I ordered this chair, the amount of photos I've seen on my Pinterest, I'm such a whore for Pinterest, and the amount of photos I've seen of people have this chair in their bedrooms is actually ridiculous. But my love for it has grown since then because I've seen it in like actual people's houses. Um, so fingers crossed, it's as nice in person. Oh, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Or maybe, I don't know if it is. <laughs> Oh my god, this no. is so fucking fun. This is so fucking when you literally could like, it's so sturdy. This is a sturdy box. Can I fit in the corner? Fun. Comfy. Yeah. I don't think it looks, oh, I, mean, I don't think it looks bad there, but I mean, it's not I like it like it can't be high, I yeah. Oh, I like it. It's not as tall as I thought, but it's nice and wide, do you know what I mean? Oof. It's a nice chair in there, just mm. like, imagine that sub, sub for that material. I mean, Bit hard. No, the, the, the... Do you know what's so fun? You could pull the glass thing over and just be oh, like. Oh, yeah, you could. Oh, yeah, you could actually. That would be very comfortable. I'm more happy about the couple of pots, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty really scared out here. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this! <laughs> Ew! I don't know where I am! The <laughs> internet was very low, I'm just gonna let you know that. You what? I love this box, it's fucking amazing. Think so what you could do to, with this. Should we see it with Anna's house, get inside it, and knock, knock on the door? Knock on the door, like, Yeah. Yeah. Should we do it? No. <laughs> Why are we so Right, that was such a big fail, but this is <clears throat> the desk chair that I actually ordered. As you can see, it's more like a accent armchair sort of thing. I really like how it looks with the green plant behind it. However, obviously I'm not gonna leave it there. It's not gonna stay there. I don't really know where to put it. It was meant to obviously have my desk over the top of it, but I don't think that's gonna happen right now. So I might try and put it in that corner. I might have to push my bed up slightly and put it in that corner. I'm not entirely sure what to do. Didn't really think this far through, but um, I love it. It's like a, I'll put on screen what material it is, but this is what sofa material I want, like I really want a sofa in this exact material, I love it. Guys, I'm having a real dilemma with how my room's laid out, like I don't like the fact that this is all, I don't, this is not working for me, this is not staying like this, I don't know what to do, I've currently just been playing around with it, I love this section without the bed in, but obviously the bed's there, I don't know what to do, so that's fun, I've just been sat editing on my laptop, sat on my little chair, so it's a really nice comfy chair, I really like it, 10 out of 10, um, but I think I'm gonna have to rejig my room around. <laughs> which I don't want to do. Oh God, look at this little setup. I've now got a little chair that I can sit on in my room. 
Very spicy. Oh my god, I've not even showed you. <clears throat> I'll show you in a little while. I need to hoover my floor and stuff, so I want you to have the full effect. I also want to finish off doing my headboard so like it's all complete. However, if I got a parcel from ASOS that I wanted to just do a little quick opening off. Basically, I'm feeling in my cozy moment. I'm feeling like we know when we're going to start coming out of lockdown. So I feel like I should just embrace the next month of being in the house and I should be cozy and comfortable 24-7. So I ordered some pyjama bottoms. Now, I have been absolutely loving dancing around prancing around existing in my silk pajama bottoms. I don't own any other pajama bottoms apart from these silk ones. I saw these ones on ASOS the other day when I was just moving around, having a little look. They look fucking beautiful. There's a matching dressing out for this as well, but it's sold out, which is kind of annoying. It would have been like a fun little set moment. Oh, look at these. Like some big, fuzzy, fluffy teddy bear tracksuit bottoms. They look a bit short, actually. Oh, no, they're fine. Perfect. Perfecto. But how flinging cozy they look. They look so cozy. I cannot wait to put those on. <laughs> Spend a couple of dollars just to bust it oh. open. Rip it off, no joking. Like your name, Hull Hogan. Ooh, look at that audience. Audience clap! Yeah. Where's this from, Has? Yeah, what's nom that? noms. Ooh, I fucking love a good nom nom. It's called I Love Nom Noms. <laughs> oh! Right, so. Oh, my salad fish is so nice. A company has sent. Oh, stacked them sauces like that. That's very creative. That was amazing. So, this company sent us some food for the evening. We're gonna have a little move night. Oh, yeah! This is my burger. Oh. It's lovely. There's so many this different This one's mine, I think. I think I ordered this one. They've given us an extra one. It was like, oh, we've got another bag for you. And I think one of us didn't even order a milkshake, did we? No, no. And we all ordered one. Oh, so give us Yes, yeah, so I'll get your facts right. And this is, I think, strawberry and lime soda or something. Lemon, strawberry lemonade with it now. Oh, with mint no, leaves. No, I think it's got lime. Yeah, that's well. mint leaves. And lime. I think it's strawberry and lime soda. These are my favorite. All right. Yeah. I thought there were chicken nuggets. You did. Right, camera's going on now, so I want everyone to just pretend that they're friends. Oh, not again. I don't want to have to pretend for another video that we like each other for fun. Make sure you talk really quiet in your videos. Oh, well. yeah, mumble. Make sure you mumble. Yeah, make sure you mumble. You're going to need to tell me to make sure I mumble because I already do. Babes. Wait, I feel like it should be a smoothie and not milk. <laughs> I just leaned over to get it. I know I just want to do it. I kind of like it actually. I took it back. No, it reminds me of um, bubble tea.